welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I have possibly my biggest ever home sense haul and by far my best because of these prices. So I demolished the final clearance section. Basically all those yellow labels, there seem to be quite a lot of them at the moment. So I have quite a lot to share with you. I do have a couple of TK Maxx bits as well, so I do have some clothing items. But if you caught my last vlog that I uploaded, I did go in store. I went and did like a bit of a Primark shop, but I also popped into Home Sense. So I've got some in store vlog footage of some of the other things that I didn't buy. So if you want to check that out, then do check out my last video if you missed it. And without further ado, guys, I'm just going to say this put your feet up, get comfy, and relax because could be a long one. I've kind of categorized everything. I have um, only got two things from the new and kind of Easter section. So I'll show you those first. I definitely want to go back and check out more of the spring and Easter bits as they get them in, but there is quite a lot out already. So definitely check it out if you are wanting to get your hands on some good things. I always find the good things go quick. So this first one is $6.99 and it is just very simply a trio of carrots in the three different fabrics. I like the fact that all three fabrics are different, but I think just like laid in like a nice wooden bowl on a kitchen countertop could be quite nice, styled up maybe on top of some coffee table books or in an entryway. I just feel like it adds a touch of Easter decor without it being too childlike. The second thing that I got is this cute little wooden bunny. Now there's not much to it. It is very simply kind of like a whitewash wooden um, decor piece, just a little ornament. This one was $6.99 and I just thought he was so cute. And again, quite like understated, not too like, whoa, happy Easter. A lot of the final clearance bits were Christmassy things. So in case you're not interested, I'll save those bits for the end. But let's move on to stationery now. Stationery and books, I'm gonna say, because I do also have um, a couple of books that I bought. I'm gonna show you this one first. This one's actually damaged. So this one was already reduced because of that and then reduced further in the final clearance. So it's this um, box, this storage box for like filing away stuff. So it's the lid that's damaged, as you can tell, it's ripped at both sides. So I'm just gonna get rid of this and have it, like the image has it, just open. So as you can tell by the price tag, it was only £2.50, reduced from £29. And then I also got some gift bags. These are, well, especially this one, is kind of more child appropriate. It's got dinosaurs on the front, but again, like, you guys know me. I have a whole section in our basement which has like spare gift wrap, spare gift cards, ribbons, bows, gift bags. So I feel like I buy them as and when I see them rather than buying them when I need them. So yeah, I always get spare things, including these, because you never know when you might need a bag for a boy or child or Barney, my dog. Barney the dinosaur. It was 60p and then I also got this one. This is from the Natural History Museum range that they have. It's just got loads of different animals on and this one's only 40p. Mega, mega bargain. Okay, next up from Ray Dunn, they've got these organization labels. Now, when we have the kitchen pantry installed, which is practically now, um, it's so exciting. But once our new kitchen and everything's in, I'm gonna have everything coordinated, organized. I'm gonna be that person and I'm actually really looking forward to it. So I got a head start with these. I might not use all of them and I might buy some more aesthetically pleasing ones. These are just very simple, basic and just a good selection. So they were only £1.30 and as you can tell on here, you've got different um, rooms. So kitchen, bathroom, laundry, garage, generic. And there's a whole list on the back of all the different labels that are in there so yeah lost socks like i might not use that label last of the stationery before sharing with you the books and at only 70p this one it's a set of i think it's just two gift bags yeah with a little ribbon that you can tie around to close it shut kind of reminds me of something like anthropology and yeah at the bargain price of just 70p i thought that would go quite nicely rrp of 11 pounds i think it says that one yeah, 11 quid, 70p. Then I got some books. This first book is stunning. I love the look of this. As you guys know, I'm, I have been collecting for the longest time now. Really nice 
cooking books and books for display purposes, for like styling purposes. I love a good coffee table book. And this one looks to have some really nice recipes. I like how they lay it out as well within the book. So I think the silver spoon do a different book as well. This is the classic edition. It retails for $39.95 and I got it for $24.99. So this one wasn't in the clearance or anything, but I just loved the look of it. So I grabbed it. Now onto some of the more bargain books in the final clearance. The first one that I got is this book and it's called How to Make Time a Manifesto. It's called Morning by Alan Jenkins. And this one was the bargain price of 90p. And what does it retail for? $12.99. I did have a little sneaky peek of removing this outer cover. And it's a really simple, nice book that would look quite nice like by your bed. It's just gray and white. I hope you guys appreciate the bargain hunting going on here. Because I certainly do. I was so excited to film this video. I just love a bargain. Anyway, again, another one at 90p, this one. And it is called Recipes for Good Luck, the Superstitions, Rituals and Practices of Extraordinary People. So I had a quick flick through this one in the, um, in the shop. And it's essentially a breakdown of like famous people, including Bjorn Bork, Beyonce, Dan Brown, Alfred Hitchcock. So there's quite Barack Obama. There's quite a lot of names there that I recognize. And it's, um, oh, here we go. I'll read you this one because this one is JK Rowling. And if you did notice, recently we went to Harry Potter studio tour. Title page last. Best selling author of the Harry Potter series, JK Rowling, will only type her title page once the entire book she is writing is finished. The superstitious practice appears to be working for her. The Harry Potter series is one of the most popular book and film franchises ever. Very interesting. A fact I never knew. Heidi Klum, baby teeth. Supermodel TV star and Victoria's Secret spokeswoman Heidi Klum has been known to keep an unusual memento from her childhood for good luck. A pouch with her own baby teeth in it. I have my own baby teeth. Is anyone else? In fact, I don't have them. I think they're at my parents, but in like a little thimble. This one I also think will be an interesting read. It's called Still Breathing, 100 Black Voices on Racism, 100 Ways to Change the Narrative. It's got imagery, lots of reading material here, lots of quotes, and I just feel like it would be quite an interesting read. And it was, again, another bargain price, so I couldn't resist. And it was only 60 retails for 20 pounds usually okay this next one if you know me is a bit of me it is a puzzle book this is from the national gallery it's masters of art puzzle book explore the world's greatest artists in 100 visually stunning puzzles so and there's answers at the back there so yeah just a nice kind of like interactive type book it retails for 14.99 and it was reduced in the clearance to two pounds. The last book that I got is called Please Cakes. Again, another cookery book, which can I can add to my collection. It retails for 15 pounds. And again, this one yellow label has a sticker one pound 30 on it. 60 awesome no bake cheesecake recipes. They've got some savory things as well. Sharitha and roasted red pepper bites. They sound good. Well, that could be cute for Easter. Hot cross buns cheesecake. I got three bits from the kind of beauty section. Firstly, this from the body shop. They had loads of body shop stuff in there actually. Retails for £16 this one. I have used it before and it's really good. It's called the Drops of Youth Cleanser. £6.99 I paid for it. This one is called the Youth Liquid Peel and it's quite um, like exfoliating. So I got that and then I also picked up this. This one was in the clearance, £2.50 retails for 30 something pounds this usually it's from cowshed i love cowshed products the box is a bit broken which again is probably why it was reduced and in here it's little treats so there's a sleep pillow mist a relaxed travel candle and bath and shower gel these are the size of them and then again another little mini cowshed uh Candle. I have shown before that they do the Marvis branded toothpaste in um, TK Maxx and I got this one. I've never seen this one before. It's probably released around Christmas time as a gift set, but £12.50 it usually retails for and it was only £5.99. The individual toothpaste that they had were also £5.99. So I picked one of those up, then saw this and thought, well, I might as well go for this one because you've got a full size of the toothpaste in the 
classic strong mint, but then you've also got two little samples, great for traveling with. You've got this one, which I already have, it's the whitening one. And then this one I've never tried, it's the anise mint. It's kind of like a bit of a posher toothpaste brand if you're yet to try it. So moving on to some homeware finds now, and I've got this, it's just like a decorative piece, which again can like sit on top of a coffee table book, some shelves, it's really heavy, it's like a cast iron one. And it was, I'm trying to, let me see if I can see the original price. 19.99 they originally sold this for in TK Maxx. And I got it with a big yellow label, well, several yellow labels at £2.50. Then I got this garlic pot. The one that we currently have is nice. It looks nice, but it can only fit one bulb in and we quite often will buy like three or four at a time. So I thought I would grab this to be able to put within our pantry just to store them. It's got like the breathing holes at the bottom. And yeah, it was again in the clearance for just 90p. They've started selling Lobje, which is definitely like more of a premium range. And they do these like um, espresso mugs, small, like I would say this like a Cortado, flat white maybe size. They did have an espresso one in there, but I decided to leave it. Um, and I just picked up this one. But as you can tell, the retail price on these are £31 for just this one, but it was in the clearance for £2. Now, I didn't actually get any other candles or anything, but I did get this from the candle section and I just loved the image on the front. So it's a set of matches and how nice, how beautiful is that image? It's just like a little bottle. It's got the scratch pad on the back and it was $5.99. This one retails for $24.99 and I got it for two pounds. And it's one of these storage drawer organizer type things. They did have two of these and I thought, do I get both? I ended up just leaving them and just getting the one for now. I'm kind of maybe gonna regret that, but anyway. Um, I just thought again, like with our new kitchen installed, there will be bound to be a shelf somewhere where I will be able to pop this and utilize it for additional like maybe pop, popping some cloths in like a cleaning cupboard or like spare napkins in like a um, crockery drawer cupboard, whatever. But yeah, two pounds, I thought I'll just grab that anyway. Okay, so before I show you the Christmas bits now, I'll show you some fashion finds. First thing is this reversible as well coat, which I thought was really nice. They had a few colors of these. I went for this kind of like sage green color which i am loving and so inside it's got like the borg kind of like super cozy teddy fabric which you can reverse and then have that on the outside and then obviously it's still got pockets that's what it would look like on the other on the reverse it was nine pounds this one i also spotted this from feeler in a large it's just a basic fleece beige fleece which i thought would be great for like dog walks that extra layer keeping warm maybe even for when we go to finland and it was just five pounds. I also got this Nike sports bra. Well, it's kind of like a, yeah, you could just wear it as like a sports top, I guess, but it's got a bit of crossover type detailing on the back, but otherwise just a basic black sports bra. I got that for the bargain price of three pounds before I think it says it was 18, no, 12 pounds. Next up, I got a basic uh, knitted vest in this kind of like, creamy beige color and it's from NAKD Fashion. It was in a small, it was reduced from £12.99 down to £7. Then I got this pair of um, like tailored trousers. They're in like a really deep dark forest green color. It's from a brand called Fari in a size UK 12. These were reduced from £29.99 down to just £6. This one's from Selected Fam. It's just a basic kind of like oversized white poplin shirt. They had a couple of these. Um, this one is in a UK 12 and this one retails for £60. But look what I paid for it. Just four pounds. Okay, so that's everything aside from the Christmas section now. So if you're not that fussed with seeing the Christmas bits, then I totally appreciate that because we are well out of the Christmas season. However, now is the time to shop Christmas because you can grab yourself a bargain. So let me run through, whiz through everything that I got. So first things first is Christmas cards. As you can imagine, they had quite a large selection to choose from. I found this box of, how many are there? 18... Christmas cards 
and I just loved the designs of them just very simply Merry Christmas I love the one with the car on and then this one has it in a few different languages they're from the brand Graphique and they were reduced to just £2.50 then a couple of other individual ones these ones were actually pop-up cards so I thought they'd be quite fun to get and they were only 70p each but look at the designs of them as well they will have little barneys on them so i just thought they would be so appropriate to get and yeah 70p per card can't really beat that i got some gift tags and labels these ones are huge as well so there are so many in here i think it's two designs so these are the two designs you've got the silver very merry christmas to you and then this one's my favorite one um, and it just says it's the most wonderful time of the year so yeah they're massive these tags they're only how much were they they were reduced to 50p another ray dunn purchase and this time in reed diffusers so we've got the two different scents and designs one that says merry and that is in the scent berry woods and then i think i prefer the scent of this one the joy one it's in the scent tinsel tree these are reduced to just two pound fifty each you'll have seen throughout christmas over my like christmas wrapping videos my gift guides that i quite often buy these gift sets to be able to put a load of christmas presents within if i'm buying for like a close family member tom's nieces quite often we'll just put the presents because we, if we get a few of them put them within one of these gift sets these ones are the larger ones as well so they are pretty big so we've got this design with the uh, candy canes on they were both £1.30 each and these ones usually are 9 99 for the bigger ones but yeah £1.30 couldn't resist and then this one just has like a kind of fair isle christmas print on then for like awkward shaped gifts or circular shaped gifts i got these two gift boxes both with the same design on 40p each so yeah there's slightly smaller ones i'm just going to store that if i can get the lid off within that box and just pop that away to one side for next year then from this brand martha stewart there's this set of tissue paper and now there are 50 sheets so you get quite a lot in here white and silver and even the teal one if you wanted to obviously it could be used any time of the year and then you've got the Christmassy design with the white one with silver trees on that's the only real festive one so i thought i'd get this one anyway for like all year and it was just 60p reduced from 7.99 then this is just like a big purchase i'm not gonna lie i don't know if you'll be able to see it but it's basically a christmas tree shaped kind of wooden decorative piece it reminds me a little bit of the pampas trees that people did over christmas um, but i thought this would sit quite nicely in front of the big tree and you know like if you've got like a fortnum and mason's hamper that you pop under a tree then on the other side you could pop one of these and it was loads of yellow tags on this one but it was three pounds i need to have a big clear out and organize through all of my christmas decorations so i feel like we'll be able to categorize and organize these maybe as a springtime once the chris once the kitchen's done and i can cut start moving all the kitchen stuff up there create a bit of space for myself in the storage room and then go through all my christmas decorations i also picked up these now the i saw another woman carrying these in her basket and i thought oh they're quite nice and then I saw that they were in the reduced section. So um, they're basically, you could use these in like autumn as well though. They're just gold kind of leaves, no glitter. They did have some with glitter on, but I thought I would avoid, avoid those ones. And they were reduced to three pound for a bunch of five when ordinarily they were priced at 20 pounds, 19.99. So I got two of those actually because I thought I could even do like a full bouquet I could use them as picks for within a Christmas tree because I quite often go for like an antique gold bronzed kind of look on my tree so yeah got those for that and speaking of which I did get one bauble that's in that color at 50p but they had loads of Christmas baubles they also had a few garlands and I thought I would get this kind of minimal pine cone and star one on this jute twine obviously as a garland is lovely but even if you just wanted to because let's face it this price two pounds it was even if you wanted to pick apart and use these little stars as table markers you know you could take this apart and use the things individually use the smaller stars scattered amongst your christmas tablescape i also have a bit of burgundy throughout my christmas decor theme and when i saw this 
I've only really got tree decor in burgundy. So when I saw this, I thought again, it would be quite nice maybe stood in front of this tree like that on one side and then the Fort Lauderdale Mason's hamper on the other. And yeah, this one was reduced to just £1.70 when ordinarily it was £12.99. A couple of bits for Barney. I got the festive create your own dog bandana type thing. And it's like an embroidery set, which could be quite fun. But even if you just wanted to give them a plain green bandana, £7.99 it was, and it was reduced to just £1.10p. And then this one, one is like a silicon mold i used to have one of these and i don't know where i think in the move down from ripping out the old kitchen down into, and then moving down into the basement i think i might have left them in the freezer so they might have gone with that um but i quite often did like frozen banana or like berries or whatever in these molds and you could do little biscuits with them whatever frozen carrots mushed up just a really nice dog treat that it does come with a dog cookie baking kit to make little biscuits it was only £1.30 so obviously I use them for frozen treats but you can use these within an oven so yeah grab that and that is everything that I got so a pretty gigantic home sense and TK Maxx haul and loads of amazing bargains definitely worth checking out if you've got one near you currently with the sales on but yeah thank you so much for watching this video do give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and if you do want to see what else was in store and you missed my last video don't forget to check that one out I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys